Good morning. My name is Miss Kenny. We're here at Johnson Elementary School in third grade, and we're going to be learning about elapsed time. Okay, are we ready? Yes! Good. So, when we talk about elapsed time, we're talking about the time that has passed between the start and the end of something. Do we remember that from yesterday? Yes. Okay. Good. So you're going to be showing me today how you get from one thing to the next. Do we remember how a clock looks? Yes. Circle. What shape is the analog clock? Circle. Awesome. So can you draw a clock? Yes. We've been practicing that. Awesome. So let's review really quick. Ashlyn has a horseback riding practice at 9 o'clock. It's going to end at 12 o'clock. How long did it last? Do we remember how to do our start, elapsed, end? You have to set it up on your paper, right? And you're going to draw your circle. Whoop, Miss Kenny. This thing's going back really far. Okay. Here we go. Bless you. When we start, we said Ashlyn's horseback riding starts at what time? Nine. Nine o'clock. So I circle my nine, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then what time does it end? Twelve. It's going to end at twelve. twelve. What do I have to do to get to twelve? We're going to count our hops. Ready? One, two, three. How many hops did it take me? Three. So that's three hours. So that's the elapsed time. The elapsed time is three hours. So what you're going to do is you're going to work in a group to make a timeline. And it'll look something like this. Now, will your paper be big like Mrs. Kinney's paper? No. No. But you will have a piece of paper, and you'll have clocks. And you will have your clock, and you'll say, we're going to start at 7 o'clock. And maybe you finish your event. I woke up at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, we left the house. You'll write what you did. Guess what? Now you have to show me. What time you did the next thing? Oh. 12 o'clock, okay? So this is at, or 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, we, we landed or arrived at Massanutten. Raise your hand if you've been to Massanutten. Some of you have. We're skiing and swimming, and they have all kinds of things there. And you'll say, I started at 7 and one, two, three hops. So what time did you arrive? 10 o'clock, and how long did it take? Three, Three hours. hours, okay? You will do another one from this time. So when now we're at 10, and I went to another time, one o'clock. Do you have to use the same time as Miss Kenny? No. Nope, but you have to tell me how long it took, okay? okay. Are you ready to see who you're partnered with? Yes. Okay. And I will give you some pieces of paper that might help you write down what you did, okay? Is it graded? I don't know why you ask me that every <laughs> single time. Shh. Yes. Okay. So, you have to start between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. So you can't say, we started at 5 in the morning. You have to start at 7 a.m. or after 7 a.m. and end at 7 p.m. Okay, it has to be from 7 in the morning, kind of like school starts at 7, to 7 at night, like when you're getting ready for bed. Okay? You have to have three events. Three events. You could add a fourth if you want. But you have to have three. How many? Three. Great. All right, so you're going to get poster. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you a blank clock. You have to have glue and a pencil. What do you need to have? Glue and a pencil. 
Soul. Love it. Okay. All right, think about the things you want to do. Think about the three things you're going to do. Oh, you're with them. Think about the three things you want to do. Three specific things you want to do. Start by picking those items. Why do you have a new pencil every day? Here, Brandon. You need two. Start by picking things that you want to do with your group. Quick, quick, quick. Go. What are your three activities that you want to do? Wake up, eat breakfast. Okay, that's fine. So what are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Putt, putt. Did I give you papers? Did I give you the papers? Okay, so draw your times that you're going to do those things. Quickly draw the time on the clock. All right, first step. Draw the time on the clock that you're going to start your activity. So on your blank clock, draw the time. Make sure your clock has a short hand and a long hand. Make sure your short hand is pointing to the hour. So how long is your event gonna take? One hour, two hours? How is your second event gonna start? At six. So how long is it gonna take you to do that? So we have to draw the clock, like the hour hand, the little short, short goes here. So then how long is that going to take? What? Well, it has to be hours. Remember, we're doing hours. OK, so how many hours is that? One. Two. So then make your second clock say, what time? 11 o'clock. Good job. Make your second clock 11. What's your second clock going to be? So you started at 7. What's your second clock going to say? 8 o'clock. That's fine. So make your next clock say 8. I love how you're making a short hand and a long hand. Okay. What's your second time? after seven. So you can start at seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve. What do you want to start at? Twelve. Twelve. So your both hands are going to be? I twelve. Yes. Good job. All right. Did we figure our first time? Oh, you guys are already ready to go. 340? Is that on the hour? Where does the minute hand have to be to make an old clock? Stop playing. 12. So one of those hands has to be on the 12. So if you want it to be like 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11, or 12. So you need to make this clock say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. But one of those hands has to be on the 12 for o'clock. Do you want it to be one hour? That's fine. I think that's a great idea. All right, you have all your times? Okay, cut them, down, cut them out and glue them down. All right. Okay, how many times? You need three clocks. You have two, make one more. Make one more clock. All right. Make sure you glue them like spaced out enough and then this just tells you like at this time we and then you just tell me how long it took, okay? okay. All right. I love it. Take about five more minutes. You guys have some really great drawing skills. One more. So you have twelve o'clock and three o'clock. What's gonna be your final time? How many how many hours are gonna pass? 
five hours. Okay, so what time will that be? If it starts at three and you go five hours. So start at three and do your jumps and see where you'll end up. Good. So make eight o'clock. Okay, now you can glue and then you can do what you were saying here. You'll say at this time we did this, it took this many hours. Okay? All right, let's see. Do you, are you going to use all four or are you going to just use three? You want to use four? Okay, so you have to write on here at, what time is this one? At nine o'clock. What did you do? We went to the beach. Wait a minute though, because you have this one says nine o'clock and this one says eight o'clock. Are you going all the way back around to eight? Are these in the order you want them? Or do they need to be switched around? Good. 309. 309? Is this 309? What time is this? 9 o'clock. So right, 9 o'clock. You can read this clock though, Chase. What does this clock say? 9 o'clock. You know that's not three and Make sure it's in the order you want it in. All right, are we ready? All right, make sure you tell them how long it took. Okay, all right. Zanea, is your group ready to present? You have to talk loud. Okay, come on. All right, show them your show them your poster. Show them what you drew. Okay. They're going to tell us about their story time. Story time. Uh, we went to paint competition. Paint competition and it took 4 hours. What time did you go? At 3:05. Uh, we went home to eat dinner. It took three hours. So what time was it? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? We ate dinner. It took us one hour to eat dinner. Okay. So what time did you finish? At eight. Okay. We went to soccer practice. It took us one hour to practice. So what time did it end? At 10. 10? One hour? Oh, did it start at 9? Yeah. Okay, good. What do we say to them? Great job, great job. At 3, we played video games. It takes 4 hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. At 7 p.m., we... Um, Go to my cousin's house. She. I live at eight. Okay. So how long did it take? One hour. Good. Go to see. Yeah. Gotta see garden. The horse races. It took. At what? You did what? <laughs> okay, at 4 o'clock, they went to see the horse races. It took four hours. All right, good, go. Talk loud. At 12, we had soccer practice. At 10, and took three Hours. Good job. At three o'clock, at three o'clock we had football practice and took five hours. Woo! What a long football practice. Yes. At eight o'clock, we had baseball.
Ooh. It took four hours. It's a day of activity. I love it. Good job. All right, let's see. At five o'clock, we go to our computers so we can get spent class. At six o'clock, we leave spent class. And it takes us one hour. Okay. At nine o'clock, my cousin and me, we did a competition. Okay. Let's go. How long did it take? Two minutes. Um, two hours. Two hours. Uh, How long did it take, Scarlett? Two hours. Two hours. Look at their beautiful drawings. Aww. Walmart. What? What was that? All right, listen. At 8 o'clock, we went to go get bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. At 9 o'clock, we went to go get boba and candy. It took one, it took one hour. What's boba? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, What's boba? Go ahead, Sally. <laughs> At 1 o'clock, we went to get a Roblox gift card from Walmart, and it took five hours. <laughs> At 6 o'clock, we used the Roblox to buy new outfits, and we got Perium, and it took seven hours. premium. What? <laughs> what? Premium. 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 Good. At 8 o'clock, we went to the beach. It took eight hours. At 4 o'clock. Read the, you have to read it. At nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. We went to take a nap. We went to take a nap. And it took. And it took six hours. Good. Mm. Oh. Just, it's fine. At three o'clock we went to play, it took four hours. Good, show them your poster. Beautiful. Thumbs up if you know what it means for time to elapse. What does it mean? Who can tell me what it means for time to elapse? What does that mean? When time does what? How long it took for something to happen, right? How long it took for something to happen? How long? did it take for Ms. Jackson to watch us learn about this today? If we, she started watching us at eight o'clock, who can look at the clock and tell me how long it took her to watch us learn about this today? Okay, how long did it take? It is nine o'clock. How long did it take? What time? An hour? It did, Mr. Calling Out. Yes, it did take an hour. Did you? Write on your clock correctly? Yes. Did you calculate the elapsed time correctly? Yes. Pat your head if you got it. Touch your nose if you got it. Hands on your hips. Hands on your lap. Thank you so much for joining our class today. We hope you learned something about elapsed time. Yes! yes!